The year is 1934. International Harvester would make an all-new engine family to replace the International S-Series engine, which was International's first six-cylinder built-in house. The new engine would be called the HD-Series, eventually being renamed to the Green Diamond, and it would start the Diamond Series engines. The Green Diamond was followed by the Blue Diamond, in 1941 through 1954, Silver Diamond, Black Diamond 1949 through 1969, and Red Diamond from 1941 through 1974. And you'll see a bit of an overlap, and that is because the Green Diamond was the basement level engine. The engine that was used in the half ton all the way up to one and a half ton, KB1 through KB5. The other engines, like the Blue Diamond engine, was the medium engine, and then the Red Diamond engine was the heavy-duty commercial engine. All of them will be covered on here eventually, but getting back to the Green Diamond, which used the name HD series from 1934 through 1939, and advertised displacements different because the actual displacement number for these engines didn't really land on a whole number, HD series 174, 213, 232 are the same exact engines as the Green Diamond 175, 214, and 233. Confusing, right? All of these engines were offered at the same time because it utilized a single block design just with different bore and stroke sizes. The engine was your run-of-the-mill L-head 6. Valves and pistons are in the block. Valves running right next to the pistons, not above like overhead valve. And looking at the block, it's fair to say, when looking at the block like this, the valves are above the pistons. The block is that of a monoblock design, meaning that the block and the crankcase are cast as one single piece. Two valves per cylinder, clearances between tappets and valves have been increased, giving them longer life. This engine features fully pressurized oil and lubrication to the main connecting rod bearings, piston pins, timing chain, replaceable shell type main bearings and connecting rod bearings, counterbalanced crankshaft, hardened exhaust seat inserts. The Green Diamond engine block has larger water passages which completely surround the intake and exhaust ports which facilitate the escape of hot exhaust gases. These engines made greater power and were more efficient courtesy of an all new manifold design, new cam contours, which also improved smoothness and quietness as well. The Green Diamond engine also got a revised combustion chamber that was higher and more round in profile. Spark plugs were also relocated to the center of the chamber. These engines were the beating heart, powering some of the best international trucks in style and function that International ever made, in my humble opinion, offered in three displacements. Introduced in 1934 as the 174 HD series, also goes by the 175 cubic inch displacement, flathead economy six, 2.9 liters. It was good for 64 horsepower, 3300 RPM, 120 pound feet, or 162 newton meters around 1000 RPM. Bore of 3 inches and a stroke of 4.125 inches. Compression was 6.7 to 1 for main bearings. The years this engine was used was between 1934 through 1949, and it could be found in the International C-Series, which lasted from 1934 through 1937, International D-Series, 1937 through 1940, International K-Series, which had two models in it separated by a war. The K-Series, International K lasted from 1940 through 1942. World War II happened, and I guess to be fair, International still made the K line during the war. So 1940 through 1946 is International K series. After the war, International came back with the KB series. This is what an International K looks like. And this is what a KB series looks like. The only difference that you can see from the front is the wings on the grill. And that's honestly the biggest difference between those two. The KB was post-war, the K pre-war. Half ton up to one and a half ton configurations. The Green Diamond engine could also be found in the International Metro, which was their step van. International also made wagons, deliveries, which this engine could also be found in. Moving on to the middle option, bore was increased 
to 213.3 cubic inch displacement. It either goes by the name of 213 HD or 214 Green Diamond Flathead in line 6, 3.5 liters. It's good for 85 horsepower, 3,400 RPM, 160 pound-feet, or 216 newton meters around 1,100 RPM with a bore of 3.31 inches and a stroke of 4.125 inches. Compression is 6.3 to 1. Years this engine was used was the same, 1934 through 1949, and it can be found in everything that was just previously mentioned. Moving on to the biggest and baddest engine in this engine family, Stroke increased to 4.5 inches, bringing displacement up to 232.2 cubic inch displacement. It was either the 232 HD or 233 Green Diamond flathead in line 6, 4 liters. It was good for 93 horsepower, 3300 RPM, 181 pound feet, or 245 Newton meters around 1000 RPM with a bore of 3.31 inches and a stroke of 4.5 inches. Compression was 6.3 to 1 years. This engine was used 1934 through 1949. The Green Diamond engine would be replaced in 1950 by the Silver Diamond slash Black Diamond engine. But as they say, that is another engine episode for another day. All right, now it's time for Would You Rather two scenarios today. In the first scenario, would you rather have a 1940 International K half ton or 1938 International D series half ton or 1949 International KB half ton. I'm going to leave this here for a minute. If you need more time, feel free. Pause the video. Moving on to the second scenario 1934 International C series one and a half ton truck or 1939 International D series one and a half ton truck or 1948 International KB5, one and a half ton truck. Once again, gonna leave this here for a minute. If you need more time, feel free, pause the video. Now it's time for Name That Tune. First person to give both the name of the band and the song title correctly in the comment section will have their comment pinned to the top of the comment section. <laughs> That, in my opinion, is the best song for this engine. Anyway, thank you all so much for coming out and watching this. If you'd like to get in touch with me, shoot me a comment in the comment section below. Or you can always send me an email at what underscore it's underscore like at a lost and mostly forgotten web provider, yahoo.com, if interested. Thanks again for everything that you guys bring. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the stories, the corrections. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for making this channel a great community. Until next time, toodaloo! She said, without you here, there's just no fun in the sun to be had without you here. There's just no place to be. This dream vacation is a bad situation, not the misery in a sea of tears without you here.